three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Saber Wolf. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I did a video stream like that. I actually streamed this live on uh, t my Twitch channel, uh, which is Saber Gaming with two M's. I don't know why, because the first M, one M is was taken. But anyways, um, yeah, I know it's been a while since I did that, uh, mostly because I've been uh, been a fire police officer now at my volunteer fire department. Um, yeah, I know it's different. I will say it, it's gave me back into the volunteering thing, which I really, really like. And in case you don't know what a fire police is in your area, uh, basically what it is is I'm a volunteer that gets called in just like a first responder would and to be in charge of traffic management around a truck car accident a fire and like that so people can be steered away from the scene so firefighters police officers ems people don't get run over by other cars so it helps make the scene safer for everybody and at the same time uh, all the people that are driving by the scene can get around it faster to get to where they need to go faster and I will note that if you see a somebody directing traffic like that directing you to a side road, just go down that side road. Don't make a UE in the middle of the road, because they'll steer you down a road that's going to get you to where you need to go. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I've, I've, been, when, I've been playing a lot of games lately. I've been playing Hearthstone, and Guild Wars 2, very little bit of World of Tanks. Most of it, I'm just watching YouTube videos. That's most of what I've been doing lately. And there's one game I came across for one of my favorite guys I've been following. One of my favorite guys I've been following is Jeff Aviano, who does a lot of uh, GTA 5 stuff. And he played this game called 911 Operator. And I was very interested in it because, again, I'm in the fire. I'm in the fire kind of industry now. Um, so I figured I'd give this a try. So here is Operator 911, the game. Uh, basically, essentially, what this game is, and I'm going to change the mode down to medium because I don't want to try to explain things and have to deal with everything at the same time. Uh, what this game is, you're basically a central command center for uh, police, fire, and EMS, uh, emergency medical services, and you basically have to move them around the map to various calls uh, that might pop up on the screen, or you actually might take actual 911 calls. Um, so it's very cool. Um, the game is similar because it is a simulation so it's similar to what you do but there are other things that I do um, extra from just experience for the past year that I've been doing this for where I know for instance like if there is uh, a couple suspects that are nowhere armed at a certain scene I will roll an ambulance there and stay in what's called staging them away like a little bit away from that point uh, because I know they're going to shoot themselves or somebody's going to get shot they're going to get injured and they're going to ask me to roll one anyway so instead of rolling one all the way across the map I can roll it right from that point so it only has to go this far on the map and not like that far on the map so it's a big difference um, also n the one big thing about cool about this game is this has all the maps in the US so you if you have Bangor or Augusta or Miami or New York or Boston or even my town Torrington it's actually in the game and acts and the only thing is yes it's in the game is it accurate uh, it's not totally accurate to what it's supposed to be um, I will say that it's not completely accurate um, because when I loaded Torrent when I loaded my map in Torrington um, I will show you when I get in there the places weren't exactly where they're supposed to be it was close enough so I'm gonna go to free game I'm going to load this map of Warrington. Now, I have played it a little bit. Um, I did play it uh, beforehand uh, for a while until I found, when I found and I loaded it, the police department and some of the fire stations just weren't in the right places. So what I did was I opened up the XML file and I edited it. So you can see I did, I've done like 10 rounds, 10 days worth of this game already. Um, and I hope it's not a riot situation, the first day of a riot situation, because I don't want to deal with a riot situation, because there is one bad word there which I don't condone, and it all this one major negative I have in this game is they use a very bad word in this game, which I will not repeat. Um, but essentially, you have uh, various staff members. You have police, EMS, and fire, which you can uh, sort out like that. Um, now, we don't have... Uh, bike unit, uh, motorcycle units in my town, but I just threw it in there because I needed a fast unit. It was cheaper at the time. Um, plus, but after a while, I just wanted to, you can, there's uh, cheat codes in this game where you can add a ton of money and unlock all the maps ahead of time. I did use the unlock money for this scenario because I just wanted to set up 
uh, well, you, can, you had to play it for a couple days to get the staff members because you don't get the staff members as you get them as you play the game. Um, but I just wanted to set up the game of my town to similarly as close as I could to what it is. And again, when I first loaded the map, the places weren't where they were, but again, I'll, I'll explain how that worked out. Um, so I do have uh, two Walmart cruisers, one police bike, uh, three marked cars, one specialized police unit. They have the Wubby and a defusal bomb, because there might be bombs in this game. And I do have one full like SWAT team with riot gear and rifles and everything. Because, again, this is a simulation. It's a little more over the top than what it could be on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's a game. It's a game. It has to keep it interesting. So I have three rifle, three rifle people, one wubby, one doggy, and they all have riot gear. Uh, so that is my um, SWAT kind of SWAT team. I have three ambulances, one heavy duty ambulance that can heal three people and carry three people at once, and two medics, uh, two medic cars. Uh, in our town, we do roll medics separately in another car, even though our paramedics are, or, you know, the EMS guys are trained like that. They do roll a medic that's actually higher trained. Um, then the other guys are a little bit, so it adds an extra unit. Um, but in this game, the cars will actually be able to carry a unit, and they're only marginally s faster than the medic bikes are, and the medical, medical bikes, which are right here, are not able to carry anything. As you see, the base speed is 180, and these guys are over 180 each. So on a base level, they're basically s marginally slower than a bike, plus they actually can carry somebody if they actually have to carry somebody. So that makes it a little bit better. And for fire apparatuses, I do have uh, two for our main house that we have the our paid fire department. I do have two units for our Torringford fire, one of which is kind of a fire police tactical one. And then I have a third one, which is actually Harrington West. Now, I'll get into that. Why is Harrington West and not Drakeville, or Burville for that matter? <coughs> I'll get into that one actually starting the game. All right? But basically, on this screen, you have your shops where you can buy all the uh, equipment, vehicles and staff people to add them to your team again these staff people do cost uh, a salary so if you get so many the game will start to get harder 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 the more units you put in and it also uh, the salaries get higher and higher so you won't be able to buy as much stuff each round on this side this is your resources you have here's your staff people I do have two officers that are able to go back to duty Vehicles. I do have a one riot vehicle because there was a riot in the game. I it was like the f second or third day I opened up the game on, and it was very excruciating. I'll explain those a little bit later. And I have rifles, tactical tools, because I tried to put a tactical tool on the police and it didn't work right. So I do have riot gear from the, from the riot call I had before, and I got everybody's pistols, and I switched them over to rifles because it just does more damage. And I just set up everything better. Um, you can turn on and off answer calls, but I'll leave it on just for the demonstration purposes of this game. <coughs> and as you, if you want to need, a you need to add a team, you click new team up here. Don't click deployment down here. It's a big red button. Click new team here. It'll add a line. Place your vehicle. Then you place your staff people into it. Then you place your equipment on there. Uh, police, you have rifles and um, in bulletproof vests. Then you can also add police uh, police dogs and like that. Uh, EMS, they have medical kits and defibrillators. And for fire, they have their bunker gear, a toolbox. I did give them medical because sometimes they do are closer to the medical scene, and depending on the places, so I just gave them uh, medical gear. And uh, I don't think I gave this guy defibrillators. You know what? I'm just going to give him defibrillators. Son. My bad. I'll buy uh, two of those. And you get a defibrillator. And you get a defibrillator. And Oprah Olufsen. There we go. Alright guys, so I'll explain more about the map, whole the map situation that happened. Basically, um, when I first loaded the game, here's my good old town of Torrington that I live in now. Um, so when I first loaded the map, I noticed that the police station is over here. Uh, this is uh, between Midget and Goshen where that shell station is on the corner. Not that I'm getting shout outs to the, and um, the uh, fuel station there. So it was on the corner there, so I moved it to where it's supposed to be, on your main and east elm. Um, 
also, Water Street was correct for the fire department. There is another one on North End. I'll get to that one a little bit later. And as you can see, how the map is actually cut off across the top here. Technically, Torrington goes all the way out in here more. Um, and Burville's not even on the map, actually, which is kind of annoying. They're actually like, way out here. Um, and Drakeville is actually located right there. Um, but it's cut off to where the boat launch is, for those of you watching my video on Facebook, and actually I work with a lot, so you actually know where the outline is for this. But no, it's actually cut off just past, uh, just past the exit when you get past where Kennedy and, uh, Winstead is. It's actually cut off right there. And actually, also, it's also cut off of, um, right here. It's actually close to where it's supposed to be. Um... So this border is almost okay, but it's a straight line. This shouldn't be, because as you can see, it's I'm going way south here, because this around here, this is Harrington down here, um, and as you can see, Harrington West Side is actually part of in this game Torrington, which in reality it's not. Technically, it's supposed to be uh, the Torrington main place, which is Water Street, North Side, which is where our pay department has another set of units. Then you have Torringford, which is a volunteer group, uh, Drakeville, which is out here, and Burville, which is way out here. It's not even a map, actually. Uh, they used to, they were closed down uh, last year, and most of the guys actually moved in with our group in Torringford. Uh, but when I loaded the map, um, it gave me Water Street. Of course, the PD was over here. It gave me two places for uh, our CHH hospital, uh, Water Street. Harrington, for uh, sorry, uh, Harrington West Side, and also way over here, they also gave us each list, each uh, East Litchfield. Sorry, yeah, neither one of those, neither one of these two are actually part of Torrington. <laughs> um, and actually, the Torrington line actually cuts off um, about here, so obviously none of this area is supposed to be in here, but it is. Um, so what I end up doing was. I went into the XML file, and you can actually edit the latitude and longitude, which is actually the real longitude latitude that are in real life, and I actually edited those to the points to where our real places are. So I ended up removing East uh, Litchfield, and I changed it to Touring Ford on the correct spot for them, and I moved the police station where it was to over here. Now, because the map is for lack of a better term, upside down. So the northern section, Torrington's actually now south. For the for the interest of the game, I basically made uh, Harrington West Side basically Drakeville. It was the it's the only way I can make as close to what it is in in real in what it is for us, because it would actually be up here, and as you can see, the cutoff is right there. So I can't make that part of Torrington because it's just the way the game is. <coughs> this way it was laid out. I don't. I, maybe there's a way to change the shadowing of it. I don't know. Maybe I can change that at a later date. Uh, but when I did do this, when you download a map and you find out that the points are not right, you, t you take the risk of changing the XML file for it. Um, you do. Um, you have to re-download. You save it. Save it to your desktop. Delete the map in game. Go in game. Delete the map re-download the map again and then copy the XML file on top of that file in that folder and they will give you the correct points. If you don't if you if you loaded the game and played it before doing that, it won't it'll just lock it'll lock the loading process up. You have to delete the map entirely and reload the, the changed XML file before you play the game. It's just the way it works. So just a tip for you guys in doing that because I actually had to do it uh, earlier today. Uh, I think it was like early this morning. All right, so for the layout of this, um, also when you start, here's a unit section. So it gives you all the units you have in the current part of the game. Um, for intents and purposes, I'm going to jump down to the EMS section. Now it gave me two points, like I said, for our hospital. What I did was I changed one point and I moved it over here to the um, to the ambulance barn, to the campus ambulance barn. So sometimes they roll right out of there. Now the good news is it puts it to where they actually are. 
the bad news is is that it treats this as a hospital to return patients. It is what it is. It's a little cheaty for bringing people back to uh, from back to a hospital, um, but it is where they sometimes roll out of, and that's where they house them. So it is what it is because they don't really house them at the hospital. They house them down here. So it is what it is. Um, so for this, I do have one ambulance and one medic at the, where the hospital is. I have two more ambulances and a big box ambulance there. I can handle three cases at three places at the same time. Also, crew numbers tells you the number of crew people are in the car. And the places next to is the number of people that can carry, whether it be um, criminals or it be people, patients that you have. Now, I did put one medic at touring for technically we don't have medics. We don't have any EMS people at our place. We do have some. If you want to go out of our way, we do have first aid training and like that for CPR like that. Um, but in all intents and purposes, all the medical stuff is handled by these guys. Um, I did roll. I did put one up here just because of the location and how to get to things. Because there's so many small side streets here, it's really hard to get to and run out there. Um, and think plus, I think in actually real life, they think they get there faster than they do in the game. So I just put one up there. Uh, for downtown, I have two apparatuses here. Um, I have the basically what we call engine four, and there's truck one. Actually, truck one's a bigger ladder truck. So. Um, but uh, for this game, you, you normally have like major fires. You normally roll multiple fire trucks, but in this game, you only need to roll one. Unless it is a uh, gr parking garage fire with uh, cars, then you might need to roll two uh, for that in game. Uh, but for this purpose of the game, you only need to roll one. So I have two of the, I think it's like four or five apparatuses we have in, uh, in Water Street. Plus, I can't put north side there. I did. Oh, I wanted to go back to that. And I, I tried to put north side in here, but I think the uh, ID lines for the game needs to be in numerical order, and I didn't want to go in and recatalog 1,400 lines of code to change the numbers in sequence in order to add it. I think that's why it wouldn't load. Uh, I could. Ch I mean, I guess I could change Arlington West side up here. But then all the calls down here would take forever, which I guess is technically what would take forever. And again, I have to lopsided offset what Drakeville would be for Hart and West Side, so I just kept it there. Uh, normally we do have one right here, but I it is what it is. I can only do so much with a uh, pre-made game and an XML file that they gave me. I tried to put it in, but it just would I just would not let me load the map. That's that. Uh, so for Touring 4, which is my station, up here at the top, uh, I do have one apparatus, which is 17, which happens to be 17, so that's cool. And I do have 18, which is my lucky number. Uh, that would actually be 25 or 48. It's kind, of, it's kind of like our fire police, or 16, which is our squad. It's either one, you guess you could call it. Um, it's just an equipment truck, so I guess it's more so the fire police truck than anything. Because our fire police are based out of, we are based out of the Touring 4 section. And then again, we have West Side instead of Drakeville. It is what it is for this game. Uh, they do put one of their engines there. I don't know what their engine number is. I might say 35 because it's what Drakeville says. Um, but I put it down there. I think it's five, if I'm mistaken. Please don't hurt me, uh, West Side guys. But I think it's five. I'm sorry. All right. <coughs> so that's what it is. Um, also, as startup screen, uh, when you put the fire in the medical or the police, if you have multiple police stations, wherever you put them before you start your duty, that's where they will be the next day. So they will start in those positions the next day. Uh, what I like to do, and it's a very good thing, probably smart thing to do, is I roll my uh, police units out into the community. So that way they are close to calls because they're actually patrolling the streets and everything. That's what you want them to do. Roll this one down there hard. And I'm going to keep my two vans central. Actually, no, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep these guys central. All right, now you'll see me uh, grab um, these uh, cars out of here to put them where I need to go. Uh, halfway through the day, it does get a little wonky because the uh, ambulances might go to different locations. They might crisscross, or the police, I might have to pull multiple units and then crisscross. I usually, there is an option to pause, real, pause the game if you have to walk away or come back. And to and I usually only pause it if there's two spots like literally on top of each other and you have to kind of scroll in to pick the one you want. 
Um, or if my units are my... I try to keep it like north, central, south, kind of like that, just to pick them out faster. Um, sometimes. And you'll see me click on them multiple times to find it on the map to put them where I need to go. Because they're not numbered. There's no numbers on them. So I can't, I don't I don't know which one here is here because they're not numbered on the screen. Like even if I click on them here, it's not telling me which one of these it is. I know this is the only bike unit I have. But if I click this marked car, it's not telling me which of the three marked cars that one is. But if I click over here, it's actually that one. So it wasn't that one. It's actually this top one. So I do have to click over here to find the right one to put them ready to go. So we're going to hit start duty. You'll get pop-up calls around here. Plus you also get 911 calls as well. So you get the simulation of that. And please don't want it to be the special day. I don't want it to be the special day one. So far, it's not the special day. A drug dealer that usually takes two units because he does usually fight back. So I'm gonna put two units on that. Uh, it's again, this is technically Harmington, but it is what it is. So looks like my unmarked unit is gonna go first because the unmarked units actually go faster than the um, than the marked units do. So you should get there, but the other one should get there pretty soon afterwards. Assuming he's going to put up a fight. Maybe not. Guess not. Okay. So he's being good. We're done here. Motor vehicle accident. So we are going to roll right this truck. And we're going to roll ambulance Report number one because they're the closest. 911 call. Emergency. It's burning here. Please send help. What is burning? It's burning, ma'am. I don't know. It's probably a living room. It's probably a living room? Okay, what's the address? What's the address? In front of <laughs> Could you be more specific, ma'am? Uh, is the room in a house or an apartment? Yes, the house is burning. Well, obviously the living room's burning. Is it the spreading beyond the house? Yes, it is. It is spreading. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you inside Please the tell building? me you're not inside no, the building. No, I'm on the street. We're real hard to decide by our street fill there. Um, do you, do you know, you know what caused the fire? Caused, caused fire? Set it on fire. Okay, did you see oh. who did it? It was a bunch of kids. Those teenagers, they behave like animals nowadays. Uh, do you, do know you know think there's anybody inside? I think there is. I heard a scream a moment ago. Okay, okay I will the fire send right now. EMS. Good. Bye. So we are going to roll EMS there because there you have multiple people inside the building. Plus, it was an arson, possible arson situation. So we're call so we're having uh, police dispatch to there as well. They said it was teenagers, so there could be multiple um, people that set the arson. So we're roll multiple units over there um, to cover that. I'm going to move this PD over there because I need coverage for that backside now um, because I'm moving these guys over. I'm also rolling two fire trucks because it says it's spreading, so there could be multiple structure fires involved now. So, we're going to roll there. We're going to highlight it. Oh, we're going to have another medical call. Oh, boy. I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. Second EMS go there. What is it? It is a broken bone. Okay, so it's not quite life threatening, possibly. So, we're going to highlight this. There are two people injured. Fortunately, I'm a medic because he can only carry one. There is the fire. Currently, the fire is being suppressed by the medic. Okay, that's just weird. Fire trucks are going there right now. Car bump. All right. So, just a fender bender. So, a fender bender. So, we're going to one unit over there to deal with a fender bender. In a really weird spot to have a fender bender, but that's okay. <laughs> Again, this is not the real. This is not real life. It's the game. It just picks places to where you need it to. So, nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello, my stomach hurts. Really uh, bad. stomach hurt one. I sometimes always get this one messed up. So, so how long? How long has been hurting? Oh, it's been hurting for two weeks. About an hour ago. Uh oh. It started suddenly. Okay, this is the one I always mess up. Uh, does anything All else right, hurt? Does you? anything else hurt? I vomited half an hour ago. Okay, do you have any so other symptoms? Do you have any other symptoms? I looked in the mirror and my skin's very pale. Oh, that's new. I have the chills and I can't stop sweating. Oh, uh, yucky, what's, what's your address? Your address I'm going to send something. 
All right. Let's send Your the symptoms could be signs of something really serious. I'm going to get medical help to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll wait for them to get here. Okay, Bye. so all my medical units are actually being used now because I now have a OUI situation now. So all my EMS are being used. So what now I'm going to have to do is if I have another EMS call, I'm going to have to roll one of my um, rescue trucks or from the fire department there. So right now we're healing the other tenant. Unfortunately, the in, <laughs> unfortunately my medic took that one. No, nope, Engine 4, you need to go back to your quarters and not going to Harlem and West Side. So you need to go where you need to go. He's healing him, so he will be good. Standing by. I'm listening. Oh, good. Right we could have to return. So, Understood. I will go back up here. Heavily injured. Great. A road rage incident. Reporting right away. Go get him. Uh, you're going... Where are you going? Okay, you're going up uh, Water Street. Reporting. Understood. Cut over. No, no over go up High Street. <laughs> No, you're going down Riverside Ave. <laughs> Got injured. Going to hospital. Get him. There you go. Good job. I'm listening. <laughs> Understood. Right. Go on past that. I don't want you going there. I'm listening. You can stay south. It's fine. We're done here. Okay, I'm gonna pause it because Reporting now our right PD away. guys are getting a little weird. On spacing, because I got nobody over there. Reporting. So we're going to swing you out Heading that way. Who does not have anybody in their car? I'm listening. You do not have anybody in your car. So I'm going to put you Going down Litchfield. Like that. So you can see I'm managing this for half through the day. Mm -hmm. um, all over. Oh, goodness gracious. Flu-like symptoms. Okay, we are going to send ambulance from the main place there. Okay, I'm going to um, move these guys where they need to go. Okay, everybody else is where they should need to go, so we're going to play this out. Because everybody else is where they need to be. No ambulance to them, and here's another call. Uh, when did the robbery happen? Okay, uh, where are you? That's not Beechwood, but okay. Beechwood's actually over here, but we'll go with it. Uh, where are the attackers right now? I have no idea. They ran away somewhere. Do you have any injuries? Yes, I was hit badly. Where were you hit? My head. Okay, I want you to just stay there and wait until the ambulance arrives. Sure. Did they have any weapons? Yeah, a gun. All right, sir. We'll take care of it. So they're armed. So we have armed robbers. Um, yeah, I will. So we do have armed uh, robbers there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stage um, a police unit kind of nearby. I'm going to roll the SWAT unit there, for lack of a better term. I'm probably going to roll the motorcycle group, because I have not used them yet in this game, so I'm going to roll them there, because they'll get there a lot faster than everybody else will. Unfortunately, um, for the guy who's been hit, I'm going to have to... Uh, okay, we have a naked person running in the streets. Okay. So you're going to stage them down the street. Because I do not want them going into there yet, because we have an armed robbery in progress. Get Emus there. Waiting for heading over there. I'm listening. Okay. Right away. Motorcycle group can go. You guys can go. I'm listening. Waiting for orders. You can go. So we have one suspect that's armed, plus we have the injured party that was called. Mm. And they're resolving that, so they'll be fine. Right 911, what's your emergency? Hello? I'm in a car crash. Motor vehicle accident. When did it happen? Okay, so it's recent. 
Where did the collision happen? Around. Okay, anybody injured? Yeah, two people injured. Really mess. You know who caused it? Rolling officer. Yeah, Alright, Drakeville, go do your thing, or Warren your west side, whichever you want to use. <laughs> So we're going to roll all three units there. We do have one person that's injured. We do have people arguing on who Reporting caused the accident. So the police will try to determine Reporting what that is. Understood. And Understood. put the police where they need to go. And he's going actually back to quarters because he actually carried the criminals like he should have. So that's awesome. So that worked out the way it was, should have. So we have the... So again, I'm going to pause this real quick. We do have the car in the middle of the road because, again, like I said, the fire department also acts as a tow truck. We have two injured parties, so we are actually rolled an ambulance there because they'll be there in a second. And we have the person who's caller and talking to them to see what the heck happens. So we'll get that all taken care of. So we have all three, all three types needed for that one. Red light offense. Well, you guys are. Uh, you're driving away from them. Uh, poopy. Uh, let's try to get to catch up with them. Because unfortunately, we do have no officers in this section of town. So I'm going to roll the motorcycle. Because we don't have motorcycles in the town. I'm going to roll that anyway. So he's heading down. Oh wow, he's going to go down East Main. He's coming down water. Uh, no, you need to go to your actual hospital location. And the motorcycle cop ended up getting it. So. Heading over there. So red light fence actually had somebody shoot on me from red light fence. I don't know why. A chemical hazard. Alright. Well, you know what? Just because I haven't used Torringford much, we're going to roll Torringford to it, even though it's technically a horror team. Just because I can. No, I'm just kidding. Reporting. I'm kidding. No, I'll do it the right way. I'm gonna stuck a pee on quarters. I'll have Harvey do it because it isn't technically in Harvington. In fact, the main station's there, so that would have been closer. But whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, the last nine one call today. And it's a kid playing with the cell phone. But if I still have to talk, go for the motions of it. Please press any digit on your phone, okay? Nope, we're still playing with the phone. We hang up, redial it, see if I can get the parent on the line. Nope. Now, normally, um, sometimes the police department will follow up with that. In this game, it just wants you to ignore it. Reporting. However, heading over there. Um, so we are technically just going to ignore it. A psych call. Oh, what we call a psych call. Um, usually. Sometimes police will also roll to that because sometimes you have they have to help restrain the person depending on how severe it is. Um, they're not. I don't want to talk about it too much because it's a sensitive subject. But in any sense, uh, ambulance and usual stage, police will go in first, make sure the person's not going to hurt anybody, and then the medical unit will go in to take care of the person afterwards. So that's usually the the, the what it usually happens. Like once again, the fire unit, just go back to your quarters. I don't want to have to tell you every time. But here you go. This is it in a nutshell. So that was a full day, which is really awesome. Um, so it gives you a rundown of what you did. These are all the calls that we answered today. As you can see, the empty call, I ignored it, gave you plus one. If you actually respond to... Oh, jeez. One of my medical guys got injured. That's not cool. I was injured in that fight. Um, I even rolled a million in there late, too. But anyways, um, does it say how we got injured? Ah, just tell me. Okay. Oh, wow, no, it's my good gun, too. Shoot, it's my best, one of my better ones. Anyway, sorry. Uh, so basically, on the empty call, it, it tells you to, if you know it gives you a plus one. If you go to it, like, it's on a PDN, it's saying, hey, we got a 911 call just to meet you in person because we're going to get a hold of you on the phone. Just making sure there's no problems or anything because you, they do sometimes follow up on that that way. If you do that in this game, it actually gives you a zero, so it actually wants you to just ignore it. Because um, you're dealing it from the dispatcher, and I guess, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so it gives you uh, result um, points on what you did for reputation. The higher reputation points you get, 
the more money you get on rewards on the back end. You also get the fines for any uh, tickets you wrote. Best base income of five thousand dollars. The salaries, like I said, the more staff you have in there, the higher the salary is going to be. So it's going to cut into your profits. So if you have a lot of people in a smaller area, it will hit you in the total profit area. Plus, to tell you, the team members, people that get promoted, I think they raise their stats a little bit, and you do have injuries. So we did lose an officer for one day and a medic medical person for one day. So we lost. So next time when you do another day of this, you will not have the option of using it once. You have to replace them, basically. Uh, and I actually got a plus three for this rubbing. That's great. So that's the game in a nutshell. Hope you guys liked it. Um, it's a good simulation uh, for medical stuff a little bit. See like how to move people around on the map, how it works. Um, to really have a staging like that. Because like for me, like I said, knowing a little bit about calls and like that from listening like that I know like for medical like they stage outside nearby and it's not just wait so in case like for instance during that fight they got into a fight people got hurt if I wait if I didn't roll the emergency services um then they would have to come all the way across from that barn by staging them right outside the place I knew they were gonna somebody was gonna get shot and hurt they're right there so I could just move them right there and they're done so in, so it decreases the length of time it takes to get through these calls. So there's my tip for you guys. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, especially my uh, fire guys and like that. Um, maybe try this game out. Um, the game, I looked it up. I got it lucky for Father's Day present. Thank you. Um, so, but for this game, the whole package and everything is about $20 on Steam. Um, it gives you all the maps and access to all the maps. Like I said, if you live in Bangor, Augusta, Seattle, Miami, whatever... It has the map on here. If the locations of the police department, fire department, or hospital like that is not in the right locations to what your map's supposed to be in your town, you can go in the XML file at your own risk to uh, adjust the uh, longitude and latitude of the location of it. And also, if you want to, you can actually dig into the file further to uh, add the pro that to the ID of the street name and where it is, for instance. And that was also not correct because it said Beechwood was all the way the heck down um, New Harrington when actually well, actually it's on the western side of town so the town names are not quite where they need to be but at least it gives you some of the town names are in your town right so, so that's the game hope you enjoyed it take care I'm Saber Wolf and have a good night <laughs>